Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and Ponage Tool 4.1.2 has been released a little bit ago, and it's for Macs, and I'm going to show you how to use it to jailbreak and unlock your iPhone 4, your iPhone 3GS, and 3G, and so you can use any SIM card you want. Also, jailbreak the iPod Touch 4th, 3rd, and 2nd gens, also on 4.1 and the iPad on 3.2.2 and the Apple TV on 4.1 firmware. Now there is kind of a catch. If you're on an iPhone and you've either updated to 4.1 or 4.0.2, you will only be able to jailbreak using this video. You, there will be no unlock available for you as you have updated your baseband. Anyone that is on 4.0, 4.0.1, or anything earlier than that they can use this to unlock alright so we're gonna be using Ponage tool to restore to a custom firmware and you're gonna need two things first of all of course you're gonna need your firmware for your device which you can find in settings and general and I'm on 4.1 obviously I'm not gonna be able to unlock but um, I'm just gonna jailbreak and show you guys how to do it now the firmware is found here felixbruns.de I have a link in the description and you can just go into here and get the, your respective device firmware and for the Ponage tool I have a link down here also you go to dev team blog and you can just scroll down here and get a link from one of these um, alright so once you have those two things you'll just put them on your desktop and make sure your iPhone is plugged in or whatever you're gonna jailbreak and go ahead and open up Ponage tool okay and from here just select the device you're on I'm on an iPhone 4 so I'm gonna do that and make sure to click expert mode up here alright so now we can click the little blue arrow and we're gonna browse for the firmware we downloaded now of course mine is on my desktop and I'm just gonna select it right here and open it's gonna load for a second and it's just uh, making sure that this is the IPSW that we should have but once we're here just go ahead and click on general and click next and um, this is just a quick tip if you're on an iPhone that uses a legit SIM card that means you're on AT&T and you're not trying to unlock then deactivate unclick activate this iPhone because it will mess it up you won't find any service but if you're trying just to activate your iPhone just to use it maybe as an iPod and of course on different SIM SIM cards just keep it checked and down here for the three iPhone 3G and iPod touch uh, actually that's not jailbreakable with this but on an iPhone 3G you'll just be able to check any of these that you want obviously I'm not gonna do that and I'm not gonna change the partition size keep it as it is and click the little blue arrow here you can add any source you want um, I like to do that in my city application I don't like to do it here and you'll click next make sure this is checked click next again and now from here of course you can install anything you want from Cydia and custom packages you can put custom boot logos on your iPhone 3G but I'm not gonna do any of that so go ahead and click the little blue arrow and actually just click build and click the little blue arrow and make sure it's on your desktop and click save now it's gonna take a little bit to build this and I'll be right back okay so while it's building I'm gonna clarify a couple things um, if you're on an iPhone and let's say you're on firmware 4.0 or 4.0.1 this will update your firmware to 4.1 but it will not cause you to lose your unlock or jailbreak it will give you an unlock and jailbreak and if you're on 4.1 or 4.0.2 and you downgraded to 4.0 or 4.0.1 your baseband is still the same so there really is no point in doing this unless you just want the jailbreak um, so yeah just just to clarify a couple things up you guys Okay, so my custom firmware has is almost done being built, and now it's telling us to put it into DFU mode so we can restore it in iTunes, and it jumps right into it. It doesn't really give you any time, and of course, we're going to be putting our device into DFU mode, and for those of you that have trouble with this, you're not feeling confident, I'll put a video annotation right here. Go click on that before watching this. It'll show you an in-depth guide on DFU mode, and it's a really great one that I made. For those of you that have done this before or are feeling confident, just stick with me. We're going to start out by 
holding the home and power together for about 10 seconds and then releasing the power button and holding the home button. So here we go. Yes, and it'll give us five seconds to prepare. Hold this and this button. Now we hold them together and just keep holding them. And now let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. And something should pop up on your iPhone momentarily. And there you go, you're in DFU mode. So now all you need to do is put your iPhone aside, go ahead and close Ponage tool, and open up your iTunes. Right here. And iTunes will tell you that your iPhone is in DFU mode or in restore mode, and you will need to restore it. Now, on a Mac, hold Option and left click or just click on restore and it'll bring this up basically just like on Windows computer where you hold shift and you'll just search for that custom firmware and it's on my desktop and um, it's gonna look like this it's gonna say custom restore in the title just click choose and restore and you'll notice that your iPhone will begin restoring um, this is a pretty lengthy process for some people and it should be done now after it's done restoring I'll be right back alright so as soon as your device turns on you'll just slide it and there you go you have Cydia on your device now um, of course if you were on a firmware that can't be unlocked like 4.2 or 4.0.2 and you did this you'll only be jailbroken but for those of you that want to unlock all you have to do is go into Cydia search for ultra snow and install it and if you don't know how to do that again I'll put a video annotation right here that'll get that'll direct you to my unlocking video so thanks a lot you guys for watching really hope you liked it, it took me a while to do but Please comment, rate my video, and subscribe to my channel.